Now I will be demonstrating how to properly connect your payload drain. First, we lay out all of our various packages with Velcro, step, Velcro straps already attached in the order they will be connected to the balloon with lines between them. First, we have our flight termination unit uh, directly below the balloon. Now this, this line will be connected to the balloon when, when we're all ready to go. Uh, the United States Federal Aviation Administration requires that all balloons have two flight termination units for redundancy. If you're using a latex balloon, the balloon burst counts as one, and then the second is a package connected just below the balloon that can cut the balloon line either on command or after a certain time or altitude, uh, depending on how you set it up. Make sure if you're in another country that you check any regulations in place by your equivalent agency and follow these as they may be different from the regulations in the U.S. Next, we have our parachute and radar reflector. Uh, this is our parachute here. And then the radar reflector here. Um, the radar reflector is also required by FAA regulations. And again, make sure to check regulations in your country if you are outside the U.S. After the radar reflector, you'll have the rest of your packages. These can be whatever you come up with. You can be creative with these. In our case, we have here we have an all-in-one micro shack. Um, and then there we have a second tracker uh, for redundancy. A tracker is not required by the FAA. But if you want to be able to track your balloon and recover it, you want at least one. The all-in-one micro track, you can get online for around $200 to $300. This one has a rubber duck antenna attached. And now you want to make sure that when you, when you set up your payload chain, this antenna points down like this to the ground. So you want it to point towards the, the last package in your, in your payload chain. Now it's because the antenna has a donut-shaped radiation pattern, so it's going to point down like this and have a radiation pattern like this, and you're going to have a null in the center. So in, in the middle of the pattern, you're, you're not going to get any reception. But, so you want to point it down straight to the ground so you cover as much area as you can. Now this tracker works in a similar way. We, we built it ourselves. It has this antenna on the bottom here. This antenna also works in a similar way. Um, it has the same pattern of radiation, but we designed it so that the null is very small, so we get as much coverage as we possibly can. Now that we have all of our packages lined up in the order that they will be attached to the balloon, we can go ahead and attach each package with the pre-made rigging lines that we made in the previous video. So we're going to take at each package, now we want to make sure that, again, your crosses on your Velcro straps are pointing on the top and the bottom. So we're going to take the lines that we made, open up the connector, and now when you connect to the packages, you want to make sure that you get the connector through both of the Velcro straps for security. So we're going to connect first to one. And the other. Now it's nice and secure through both on the cross. And now we use these that have a, a screw on them so they're nice and secure on there. So that's one. Now we're going to come up to the next package into our all-in-one micro track. And now this has has a connector on it, so we're going to hook that through there. And then if you're using a carabiner like this that can that has a spring-loaded gate and can come undone, you want to make sure you uh, duct tape the opening there to keep it nice and secure so none of your packages detach in flight. Now again on this end. Now I'll move up to the radar reflector.
and then the top of the radar reflector to the parachute. Now sometimes we use these rings instead of the connectors. You just want to make sure that any any ring or carabiner or connector that you use is going to be strong enough to withstand all the forces that your balloon will experience in the atmosphere. Now we'll connect the top of the parachute. And finally, to our FTU. And again, you want to make sure you get both of these straps through here. Make sure it's nice and secure and nothing will come loose in flight. And now that all the packages are connected, we have one final step. You want to have one safety line that is a little bit longer than your entire payload train. That's this pink line here that goes all the way from your top package to your bottom package. So this one we're going to connect to the bottom of our FTU here. And again, you want to make sure it goes through both of these straps. And again, if you're using a carabiner like this that is spring-loaded and can potentially come undone, you want to make sure to duct tape the gate closed. And then we'll go all the way back down to the bottom. And do the same thing here with this one. So again, you want to get both straps through. Nice and secure. And again, a piece of duct tape on this gate. Make sure it's nice and secure. And now you are all set to connect to the balloon and be ready to fly.